This is the only probiotic that you need. I've tried a ton of probiotics. I spent a lot of money on them to find the one probiotic to rule them all. Before we begin, comment below and let me know, are you taking a probiotic supplement? And if so, what kind? Also, if you want more gut health related tips, go ahead and like and subscribe because gut health is kind of our specialty here. When I was struggling to find the right probiotic, I spent a lot of money. I spent a lot of time researching them and trying to find the best one. This probiotic is not particularly cheap. And because of that, I only recommend it to people that are really struggling and really looking for a boost and extra aid in their gut health. But if you are that person, it is totally worth it. Totally. So I navigated here to my article, top six probiotic supplements, choosing the best for you and your gut health. If you're looking for a probiotic that's maybe cheaper than the one that we're going to go over, then there are other ones listed here that you can view. Just briefly, we're going to go over what to, what are probiotics. Probiotics are just the beneficial bacteria that live in our gut. A prebiotic is going to be a dietary substance that feeds the probiotics in our gut. What to look for in probiotics, you want to look for CFUs, colony forming units. This is one of our trivias. How many CFUs are in a quality probiotic? You want one with at least 1 billion but preferably you want to see at least 5 billion plus when it comes to quality probiotics. And what strain types do you want? You want the high quality probiotics contain at least one of the three most researched probiotic uh, strains. It's gonna be Lactobacillus, Bifidobacterium, and Sactochromyces. If you have the choice, this is this is added, right? Refrigerated versus non-refrigerated. If you have the choice, go for the refrigerated over the non-refrigerated. When I worked in the lab, everything we did as far as bacteria was concerned was from a fridge. Unless we were trying to grow and populate them, then they'd be in like the 37 degrees Celsius. But to maintain like the integrity of the probiotic, you want them to be refrigerated. When should I take my probiotics? Is it okay to take a probiotic supplement every day? The answer is yeah, you can take one daily, but most people probably don't need it unless those of us that are really struggling, then you want to keep taking it for, or for a while at least until you have control over your your microbiome ecosystem a few signs that you may need a probiotic supplement if you have ibd or IBD, ibs inflammatory bowel disease or irritable bowel syndrome if you're lacking mental clarity because the gut brain connection i.e a foggy mind can lead to depression anxiety mental struggles if you have unhealthy stool habits so irregular or poor quality gas bloating skin problems because the microbiome is on the skin as well as on the gut if you've recently used antibiotics you should probably consider taking a probiotic because antibiotics go ahead and kill all the bad things that are maybe causing you sick, but it kills all the good things as well. If you have a ton of sugar or carbohydrate cravings, you probably want to start by changing your diet first because that's going to probably change your sugar cravings and carbohydrate cravings. It's going to help, you know, re-engineer that microbiome to have beneficial bacteria. But if that doesn't help, maybe you can look into a probiotic to help you with your cravings. What are some signs that the probiotics that you're using are working? It's going to be improved stool health, decreased craving, clearer skin, increased energy, calmness of mind. When you begin to take new probiotics, you might have side effects such as gas, bloating, or diarrhea. You know, changing in our microbiome comes with gas as good bacteria are creating a healthy ecosystem in our gut. And these side effects should subside within a few days to a few weeks. The one probiotic to rule them all is going to be VizBiome. A little bit pricey here. Let's go ahead and navigate to their page actually really fast and just see what it looks like. Look at this. They have eight strains of live bacteria in their probiotic, 20 plus years of research, 75 peer reviewed clinical studies, clinically proven to be effective, low FODMAP certified, gluten free, lactose free. So there's an obvious reason why this is the number one and why it, it works the best for me and probably for those of us that struggle with gut health issues. A funny and interesting thing about this biome is that there's a pet version and my dog um, has gastro has GI issues and the pet version of this biome is as just as good as the human version. So again, it, it's pricey, but it's by far, you know, um, my favorite and for sure worth the price. These are all the studies actually from from their website in, in IBS patients, UC patients, pouchitis, and hepatic encephalopathy. This biome contains eight strain cocktail known as D Simone formulation. And I'm not going to struggle with all these names. You can go review them and read them. And the amount varies between 112.5 billion to 900 billion CPUs, depending on which package you purchase. If you remember, I said the bare minimum was 1 billion and this has, you know, 112.5 billion at the very minimum. A pros is that there are extensively researched in humans. There's eight high quality strain probiotics. There's a high CFU count. The cons is that it's costly. Show me the money. So I have other ones on here too that I reviewed and I'm not going to get into it today because we've kind of, well, we're, we're short on time, but 
If you're curious, this is going to be on the Wealthy Performance page.